During the late 1800s, many Danes were leaving their home country of Denmark because of the poor economic situation. Many of these Danes immigrated to the United States in search of a better standard of living. A lot of these Danish settlers ended up in Utah, Wisconsin, Illinois, and Minnesota, and formed new communities with schools and churches. In 1911, a lot of these Danish settlers would head west to California to escape the harsh Midwestern winters. These Danish Americans would create a settlement by purchasing up 9,000 acres of land next to the Mission Santa Ynez to establish a Danish community far from the Midwestern winters. The community took on a distinctive Danish-themed architectural style beginning in 1947, and although this town of Solvang only has about 10% of its residents being Danish, it has still retained today its Danish-themed architecture and culinary styles throughout the town, and it's become a prominent tourist destination, and has received several visits from Danish royalty over the years. Starting off on a new ride today. Taking the boys up to Santa Barbara area. We're actually staying in Solvang tonight. Perfect day, it's like low 60s right now. We're in Alhambra right now, kind of a meeting, central meeting location right now here at the Starbucks. We got Mickey here as well. We got Jamie, Andrew, and Brandon in the background. We're gonna check out the bikes real quick, show you guys the hardware we're running today. But we got probably about, we're gonna go up Highway 1, we're gonna go out to Santa Monica, go up Highway 1 to Santa Barbara, then shoot up to like Solvang area. And we're hitting up the Solvang Museum tonight. We got a cool lunch spot. I know a lot of you probably are familiar with it, Cold Springs Tavern, so we're gonna eat there. Awesome motorcycle spot. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes today. I'm running the 18 model year Street Glide Special, AKA the Storm Glide here. Jamie's got his Road King Special. Looking good, by the way. Deadwood Green, best color Harley's ever done. Yeah. <laughs> no. We got Brandon here. Hi, guys. I'm here to rev bikes. Perfect. You came to the right spot. Yeah, definitely. What are we riding today, Brandon? Uh, my newly paint restored 2017 Road King, baby, with immaculate paint. My God, this thing came back to life. It's better than the day I bought it. Better than the other. It really is. So let's look at this paint real quick. This is like, it looks better than it was like brand new from the factory. Look at that. It's like a mirror. For the debut, I'm going to take it out and get bugs all over it and take it up the coast. It's, it's yeah, going to be great. Pretty much. <laughs> but hopefully the bugs are easier to wipe off because you got like a slip and slide yeah. for a paint finish now. Mickey running his Road King, Police Road King. 22 model year, right Mickey? Yes, sir. I feel like Mickey's always changing something on here. Oh, he's got the Krauss now. He's got the Krauss bars now. And Andrew's Road King, 2017 Road King. You guys have seen this bike before many times. I had a choice. Just let me ride. So, uh, biker faux pas, yeah, we met up at 9 o'clock. What time is it, Brandon? It is uh, 9.44. 9.44, and Matt needs to get gas. So, Literally. biker faux pas number one, when you show up to a ride, show up with a full tank of gas and show up on time. Come on, Matt. You're better than that.
plan for today was to run the 10 freeway west all the way out to Santa Monica and then catch Highway 1, the Pacific Coast Highway, all the way up to Santa Barbara and then catch the 154 towards Santa Ynez. But before we got there, we'd be hanging a left on Sagecoach Road and finding our way into Cold Spring Tavern for some lunch. One of the things that we discussed as a group was that it was really nice to not have to lay down hundreds and hundreds of miles every day like we usually do. This was more of a local ride where we didn't have the pressure of getting to a distant location in one day. So we were able to take a little bit more of the back roads and just enjoy ourselves without having the time constraints that we usually put on ourselves like in past rides. Biker faux pas number two. If you're in the lead and you know where we're going and you gotta make a quick pit stop, know where you're going, Mad Laidlaw. We're pulling off on the side of the road. Everybody except me has got a clean bike. Pulling off in the dirt. And uh... Made a quick pit stop here. We're on PCH in Malibu. We just passed Neptune's Net. I was gonna stop at Neptune's Net for a minute, but Seems like that place always creeps up on me and I didn't want to pull the entire group over. So we're at this little like RV pull out on the side of the road right here. We got your uh, locally grown produce guy, the strawberry guy. So maybe we'll grab some strawberries here. I think we're going to fly the drone. Andrew's got a drone now, so we're going to send the drone up right now. Just don't hit the power lines, all right? Got it. <laughs> I said the same thing just now. Do you know what you're doing? Nope.
had to stop for Brandon Street. That's right. Andrew's over there moping about it, but if it was his yeah, last name on a street, you know, then it'd I be know. different. It's on the shadow. Yeah. Your best friend's last name. You mean powdered donuts? It falls all over your face. Who's that? that? No, you don't got anything. You got me? Took a quick pit stop here in Santa Barbara. About to head up the, I think it's a 154. Head into Cold Springs Tavern here. So when you're cruising north up the 154, you want to make a left on Stagecoach Road. This road can kind of creep up on you really quick, so you got to keep a close eye out. But this is part of what makes Cold Springs Tavern such a cool little biker stop off. It's in a very non-commercialized area. You're basically taking this side little windy road down into the mountains, back into this little forested nook area where you find this old rustic wooden structure that is the Cold Spring Tavern. This is definitely a hot spot during the weekends, not only just for motorcyclists, but people just coming out with their families and things like that to enjoy mother nature and to get a nice brisket sandwich or something. So beware if you come out on a Saturday or Sunday, you will find some crowds, especially on days with really good weather like we had on this Sunday. I'm glad we didn't lose you back there. Yeah, I was trying to get the shot, man. The mountains were there and you uh, were there. And it was, I know, so that, yeah, I didn't know you Can you push your bike back? This guy wants to park. He's in the band. He wants to park his car up here. Just got to Cold Springs Tavern here. It's the raddest spot. If you guys are up by Santa Barbara area, you got to check it out. Today's Sunday, I think uh, like April 16 or something like that. And uh, yeah, this place is hopping right now for sure. None of the boys that are on this ride have been into this place yet, so they're in for a treat for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. stoked about it. It's not Azusa, but it's pretty nice. <laughs> not Azusa Canyon? No, it's pretty, it's pretty cool though. Hope the line's not too long and we can get our food in a decent, decent pace. I'm kind of excited to try these world famous onion rings that everyone keeps talking about. This like mountain of onion rings. Never had the onion rings, but they got good brisket here and stuff, so. Every light and turn signal was square on every vehicle. Here inside the bar area of the Cold Springs Tavern. This place is really busy, so we got some brisket, cut brisket sandwiches here. Tri tip? Tri tip sandwiches? It's actually, tri tip. Okay, I don't know the difference. Yeah. It looks good. Had a bite different, yet? different part of the cap. Okay. Well, I had a bite. It's really good. It's good. Very good. The Matt Baselaw was coming and the Curtis team. Yeah. Exactly. And friends. That's a good name drop, Brandon. Thank yeah, you dude. You know? <laughs> All right, so I have the tri-tip sandwiches. Damn good. We're headed out of here now. This place is hopping. Like, I thought this was like a biker hot spot, but it's like everybody comes here. There's more cars here than motorcycles, actually. But the benefit of riding a motorcycle, you always got the parking here.
At this point in the day, we weren't too far away from Solvang, but we did want to make it to the motorcycle museum before it closed at 4 o'clock. We had just enough time to take some of the side roads that I knew about that really displayed the amazing Central California rolling green hill look that makes this area of California one of the best for riding motorcycles. So we're out here, we're real close to Solvang here. We have a little bit of a mechanical situation. We have Jamie Myers uh, on duty here right now. So hopefully we can get a fix here. Let's see what the problem is. Um, don't do stupid <laughs> when you're far from home. Yeah, don't do stupid stuff. So I believe Brandon broke his seat bracket here. I was trying to be like standing, like jumping, like using it as a trampoline or what? Um, well, I was trying to be really cool and thought I could maybe like get the front end up a little bit. You know, I thought I was gonna be hot boy. You got the front end up a little bit. It did, yeah. My seat finally gave out on me though. Turn your. Oh, good call. Did you dent your fender? Yeah. Yeah, yeah look at that. Oh, damn. All that damage for nothing. Damn it. You were talking about jumping the train tracks and all that. <laughs> so cool. I don't know what talking about. Dude. No point in jumping the train tracks. Alright guys, group rides faux pas number one. Always make sure your bike is mechanically sound and don't do anything stupid out on the road. That's gonna that's gonna make the rest of the people in the group wait for you. When the weather is beautiful, the scenery is incredible. I wrote Ow. I can do the divot with the screwdriver and the Mind your business. This is Jamie Myers, master technician, hitting it. Retired. Retired. <laughs> <laughs> Former master technician. And you have someone jumping around on their bike, breaking their seat brackets, for example. Um, there's a lot of things that could happen. But don't be that guy that holds everybody up and then has to do like a roadside repair or something like that when you're, oh, I don't know, in the middle of the, you know, Santa Barbara Hills or something like that. I'm not really hard on my it's stuff. It's actually really easy on all this stuff. Yeah, I, I care for my, my stuff. Okay, yeah. all right. Sometimes. All right. Not recklessly. Well, why does it always break then? That's just bad luck or that's a, that's, that's just, you know, that's just, just bike shitty R&D on someone else's part, you know? Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm finding all the weak spots to, <laughs> to <laughs> motors. Might have yeah. to cut that out, that's all right. It should have made these seats better, dude. <laughs> right, hey, do, what do you mean? It's done. Do we have a fix, Brandon? <laughs> we have a, a temporary fix for now. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do about the dented fender. I think it's covered by warranty. Uh, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna ask Steve. Uh, <laughs> okay. He's gonna say no. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna ask him anyway because it'd be funny. All right. And uh, we're we're gonna learn from our losses today, and we're gonna move on, guys. Now, okay? All that matters is the ride goes on. The ride goes on. Don't look at it too much. Just okay. focus on the chrome. Okay. Focus on the chrome. Okay. How did you repair it, Jamie? <laughs> hey man, two <laughs> holes, a lighter, a zip tie. We're good to go. And a can do <laughs> attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Some beautiful countryside right here. Perfect day too. It was. Just showed up to Solvang here. Just arrived at the Motorcycle Museum. We had a man just come out right now and said that we're gonna be completely blown away. So, I've never been, have you been here before, Mickey? Oh. First time, I didn't even hear of it until I think Nick brought it up or Brandon brought it up, so I'm stoked. Who brought it up? Uh, I've been. Oh, you want me all the credit? Brother, okay. Yeah. yeah, I've been here. Oh, okay. We got the Britain 1000, baby. All right. Great motorcycle. Maybe. Have you been here, Jamie? Nope, have not. First timer for Jamie First as well. First timer, I'm excited. We'll give you guys our full review afterwards. Built by a New Zealander in his garage and beat the top competing uh, motorcycles of its time, including Honda, Kawasaki, and uh, Yamaha. Where's the Australia? This is it, man. Built by a man in his garage. This motorcycle right here is called the 1940 Crocker Big Tank. And when Crocker came out with this motorcycle, it's a thousand cc's, and they, had, they ran an ad campaign. If your stock Harley Davidson or your stock Indian were able to beat this bike, you would get a full refund back, no questions asked. Uh, Crocker only made about a hundred of them uh, right before the, the starting of World War II, and no, uh, no refunds were ever given. So it's just so, so cool. So you raced your buddy and yeah. your buddy beat you yeah. on his Harley. 100%. They'd give you a 100% refund. You you a, a hundred percent refund. Honestly, there's too many good things in here to show everything, guys. Uh, you got to just come here and check this out. Awesome stop off if you guys are on a ride up in uh, the Solvang area. Come check out this museum. Check the hours though, make sure it's open. But, oh my gosh, dude, this place is so rad. If you consider yourself a motorcycle history buff or a motorcycle connoisseur, you are definitely going to want to check out the Solvang Museum. These motorcycles are all privately owned by one collector. He's got a really cool story as well. It is one of the top 
privately owned collections in the world. So definitely check it out if you find yourself in Solvang. After we hit up the museum, we decided to check into the hotel and it was still relatively early in the day because we didn't want to miss our window to hit up the museum. And so we had a little bit of time to kill. So we decided to hit the town and see what kind of trouble we could get ourselves into. We're at the Cork Hotel. It's actually right next to the museum. And now we're just gonna walk around and see what we can find and find Mickey. Mickey went to grab some food, so we're gonna search for Mickey and uh, a little bit later grab some food or something. I think it says Hamlet, not helmet. Huh? I brought it just for that reason. Oh my god. Oh, hey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> The guys need some saddlebag stickers, so we're gonna look and see if we can find some. They try to grab a little memento from every place that we ride to. Family, weird family. Say, <laughs> for some generic. Yeah. Give me a keychain. wooden clogs. I'm like, done. No problem. Who, who asked for that? My brother. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, they got a slipper version. How much are they? I might get some. You got size 13? <laughs> hey, there he is. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, hey. We're cruising around Solvang right now. We got some time to kill. We're seeing people go around in these little cars called Mokes. But uh, now we're looking at these these bicycles, these six person bicycles. Sorry. Jamie's an incredible cyclist, so we figure he pedals and the rest of us chill. He's got this, right? I think so. He's got it. I think so. Hop on. This will do, what do you think? John Deere edition, we're good. Go pick up Nikki. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to slip into something a little bit more comfortable. These boots are just getting too heavy and just, yeah, it's too heavy. So I wanted to get into the Danish spirit a little bit. I feel like I'm in Holland here. So we're going to be riding the Moki in my slippers here. Those are fresh, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm excited about them. When in Holland, you got to do it. Yeah. We're actually in Solvang now. Oh, well, when you put these on your feet, you instantly get transported to Holland. Uh, Look at that. That's big. That's a lot. Hit the gas, ain't no brakes, I don't stop. Yeah. Oh my God. At the top, see the top, I'm on top. See the guap, get the guap, that's a lot. No brakes, I don't stop Yeah, oh my god At the top, see the top, I'm on top See the guap, get the guap, that's a lot Hit the gas, need no brakes, I don't stop Yeah, oh my god We lost Mickey Dang, dude, like a cat, dude, that was awesome uh, Where is Mickey? We got one hour, we're burning it right now. Yeah, we're burning our time here. Dude, time is money right now. Finally, dude. Pop it, dude. So long, bro. We're gonna paint the town red, pick up some honeys. Take a vegan poo, get in. Get on in here, well, dude. How, how are we gonna do, how we do this? Yeah, figure it out, dude. Figure it out, know, jump in. The oh, watch your head, man. Yeah. Right. With the squad, see the squad, we outside. we outside. Coming from the soil like a rock. Like a rock. Coming from the soil to the top. With my mama, yeah, she proud of me This one for the ones who lost a vision, yeah, they died of me This one for the ones who got on late, they been proud of me But it's still the same ones in the frame, nothing changed yeah. At the top, see the top, I'm on top See the guap, get the guap, that's a lot Hit the gas, need no brakes, I don't stop We got ice cream and hot dogs here. Ice cream and hot dogs. That's a good uh, combination. All this guy needs to stay happy. Dude. Oh my god. At the top, see the top, I'm on top. See the guap, get the guap, that's a lot. Hit the gas, need no brakes, I don't stop. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a bad 
Chessy for my bestie. my bestie Only if she ride it like a 10 speed I might run the score up if you let me First time in Miami, roll them jet skis go, 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 go. Now I stay on go. go. used to stay on road Covid kept me on, but them bags on hold It keeps coming in, spin it on my keys Spin it on my boot, you know I'm a trend At the top, see the top, I'm on top Best way to end the day right here. Any photos in the spa? Stogies. Fly me to the moon. Let me Johnny. What's up, baby? Let me <laughs> okay. Jupiter and Mars. Another word. In other words, this fat monster over here. <laughs> gold chains, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you need some gold chains, Brandon, to be perfect. Yeah, yeah.